Okay, so I've got quite a bit of wool now over there in the chest. I'm just going to head down here and check the pumpkins because I want some pumpkin pies. I need to fix that hole. Uh, let's make some of this and get some sugar cane out as well while I'm here. And then I can head up. I've got some eggs around here somewhere buried under, so I'm going to get them done. But um, I've got just over a full inventory of wool now, um, which is up there in a chest. And I'm going to get started on the floor. Now, it is quite a big design. I've started it a little bit on Creative Server. Um, oh, there we go. Game crash then, sorry. So I started it a little bit on the creative server, um, just to get an idea of how it's going to look. And it is looking, well, my personal opinion is it's looking quite good. Um, I didn't want to build the whole thing there because it does take so long. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get the whole thing done in this episode. Um, but I think the section I'm going to do now, I'm going to head up and... Um, borrow another account and do a third person time lapse from above so we can get them up on the top there and then you can see um, what it looks like because it is going to take a long time so I think doing a time lapse will probably be better then you can actually see the development of it and how it's done and uh, things like that so I'm going to get all that set up and um, get this floor started Okay, so I've been working quite a lot on this floor now. Uh, I didn't want to time lapse the whole thing because it probably would have been about a 10 minute time lapse. It took that long um, and it kind of got a bit repetitive. So after I did this section, which you've just seen me do, I've moved around and done the same thing here. It's just kind of like mirrored. Now, because this circle is 100 across, it's even. So it's kind of one, uh, one square out here, which you can see. But... Uh, I really don't mind that. I know it will drive some people crazy, but uh, it really doesn't bother me that much. Especially since this, the, this is going to be split up. This is cause this isn't going to be one big open room. It's going to be split up into sections. Now, if I climb up here, I've been starting a little bit on the the ceiling um, because the shape of it is a bit strange, uh, and I'm not quite sure how I'm doing it. I, um, I've got this section looking okay, so I'll probably continue that round, but uh, I need to go get some more snow in a minute. But if we jump up here, try not to fall off. It's going night time as well. And let me just shift so I don't fall off like I've done a million times. So this is what we've got so far. So this is looking quite good. Now, I've used all the wool that I had. 
Um, well, I've got a little bit of white left and a couple of bits of other things and plenty of cyan because it doesn't really use that much cyan. Um, but I've completely run out of some of the others, the dark grey and the black. Um, so I need to go spend some time over at that little sheep field and get some more. But that inventory and a little bit extra I had in the chest has got about a third of it done. So it's not using actually as much wool as I thought it was, but it's looking really good now. I'm quite happy with how it's turning out. So if we jump down here, you can see where I've started the ceiling. It does need lighting up a bit, um, but I need to go to the Guardian Farm and get some more sea lanterns because I've run out. Um, but because it's a circle, I didn't think about building this so it actually um, works with this shape. So I've tried this out, um, moving in a little bit, and it seems to be working so far. So what I'm going to do is do this part like I've done here on and I've done it over there but that section is actually smaller because that's the exit so that's going to look a little bit different but that section and that section there is going to be the same as this um, then I'll probably work up on these high bits and then work on connecting it last just to make it look good and look even because I don't want to just work my way up from here um, then get to the top and realise it, it doesn't work out properly but um, the first thing I need to do now is go collect some more snow because I ran out again. Um, I started that section over there and didn't get very far. So let's just jump down here. I'm going to head over to my little snow golem thing um, and spend a bit of time collecting some snow in there. And um, then I'll be back with you when I've stocked up a little bit. Okay, so I've been... Uh, spend a little bit of time here stocking up on some snow and I've got all this now ready just to make it into snowballs which probably gonna take quite a while um, but hopefully I should get a nice few stacks this is so much easier now I know about the uh, pressing one two three four etc on the keyboard I didn't know about that so I used to just click and click and click I wonder why it took me so long and everyone else used to do it like really quick I'm still not that good at it I <laughs> keep missing numbers but never mind so um I was thinking of maybe spending quite a while here getting if possible getting a full double chest of snow because it is really hard work just running back and to all the time to stock up on snow um, and then we got oh see I always double tap like that you now running back and to I mean all this um, I've just done it and all these hoppers are now full and the chest is full so it is quite a lot of snow when it snowballs but it's not really a lot when it's um, been made into blocks so that ceiling over there is probably going to take quite a lot of snow um, because I went through at least a single chest of snow just building the outside bit and the the circles and all that kind of thing so it would be easy if I could work out exactly how many I need but I thought it will be easier if I just make it and then if I've got too much then I'm sure I'll find something in the future that I need snow for. Now I was thinking of trying some other things in it. I know I've got a lot of, um, what's it called, the dark oak which I've started putting in. I didn't show you that just but um, I have started putting that where they, the snow goes up a little bit, the kind of edging on that ceiling part underneath it just kind of looked boring you couldn't really see the pattern of it the um, design which you can from above um, so just where each section goes up I've kind of used the dark oak and stairs just to give it a little bit more detail and make it stand out a bit more and it does look quite good so I was gonna keep using that and I've been collecting a little bit of spruce wood as well um, then it's not all completely just dark oak. Now I know a few people will have noticed that I've not got my normal texture pack on. 
Now, I've been having a little problem. Um, people who follow me on Twitter will probably have noticed um, me say a few things on there. My computer is actually broken. Don't ask me what's wrong with it because I really don't have a clue. I'm, I'm not very good on computer kind of stuff. Um, but that's all been packed up now and I'm actually waiting in today for Aether to come and pick it up because they're going to fix it. Hopefully for free because it's under the two year warranty that I got with it so I've been waiting for that then hopefully when that's when that's been fixed and I've got it back then I can get back on track with my recording properly because it is really hard when you're having to borrow uh, another computer to do it. Now I'm looking into getting a desktop computer as well because my laptop I have got I actually bought for university I didn't buy it for games so it isn't the best um, computer for playing Minecraft on and my desktop well it doesn't like doesn't like DX Tory um, oh let me do this I'm getting that wrong I'm double clicking I'm wondering why it's not going anywhere but it's not a chest so um, for some reason on my desktop I can play Minecraft perfectly fine it's not the best FPS but I can get up to about 70 or 80 on it um, it is a few years old now but you know I can get the FPS high enough that it's decent to play on but when I put DX Tory on all of a sudden I get 7 FPS, 6 FPS and it's impossible to record so I'm not quite sure why why it does that I've, I've been looking so if anyone's got any solutions to that now my my laptop that I usually use for recording did that when I installed Windows 10 and then I uninstalled Windows 10 and it worked fine um, but the desktop is still on Windows 7 so I don't know why I'm having that problem um, but it doesn't really matter I can uh, borrow a laptop for the recording for now and then hopefully get back to doing it properly when I've got my own computer back so this is taking so long let's see I'm nearly done I think this is all the snowballs I couldn't see any more in the hoppers then Let's just do these last few and then see how many we've got. Oops. Well, that was the difficult way of doing it. There we go. Let's see what we've got. So we've got nine, nine and a half stacks. That's not really that much. It won't last very long. Okay. So I'm going to get my shovel out again and spend a bit more time here getting a load more snow and when we've got a lot more I'll be back with you and then we can head over there and get started a little bit more on that ceiling um, do a little bit of building that's not the floor because that's seriously driving me crazy now so I'll spend a bit of time here and I will be back with you soon Okay, so I've got quite a little bit done. Uh, I spent a bit longer over there and I ended up with I think 20 stacks of snow. Um, I'd already used about 8 or 9 on this um, before that as well. So there's about 28, 29 stacks of snow or something like this. And if I can get up here, I've not finished this section. This is kind of where I ran out. Now, because of the shape and the size, it's not all going to be the same so these sections as you can see here this is the front so this is going to be you know kind of perfect it's right in the center um, the height and the distance between it is exactly the same whereas this section here um, isn't exactly on the side of the circle this section is then just slightly further around and this one is just slightly further around again so it is a little bit uneven but it just means it's um, it's all going to be its own little design it's not going to be exactly the same all the way around but it's going to be similar and then when all the sections join up I'm hoping 
um, that the design that you see from the both should actually work together nicely. Now I'm doing the same kind of um, design on these sections. It does look a bit odd at the minute um, because I've only done the top. And because it needs to go down so far, um, at the top here there is two little sections that go down two blocks. So it does look a bit strange at the minute, but when it's connected it should look quite okay, I hope. If not, then there's a lot of work redoing it, but um, fingers crossed that everything works out okay. So that 29 sacks of snow got me this and that little bit and the and that and that is it so yeah 29 sacks of snow didn't really get very far which means another 29 stacks probably isn't going to get it finished so I think I definitely am going to need at least a double chest of snow more possibly more than that so that's going to be something I kind of do a little bit at a time so I'll probably just go and gather five or six stacks come and do a little bit and then move on to something else and then go back later because it is going to take up quite a lot of time um, and I do have other things that I want to build and uh, get done in here as well as well as finishing this floor off um, I want to do that as well oh that was a bit of a delay in damage then but um I'm quite happy with what we've got so done so far this episode so let me just check I haven't got any more snow in here oh I got two more stacks I'll go and head up and put them up in a minute um but yeah it's looking really good so far and hopefully it'll start looking like a hotel soon once I've got these but I can get working on this I think in the next episode I'm probably going to start working on a reception area here um just to take a break from the actual structure and I'm probably going to work a little bit on this um, between episodes as well so that should look quite good um, the reception area I need do need quite a big desk I'm going to look at some pictures of hotels online just real ones and get some uh, ideas see if there's anything good and interesting that I could possibly try and replicate on here um, but that'll be something that I do between episodes so but that's all I've got time for today guys thanks so much for watching don't forget to leave a like and a comment any comments are always appreciated and I would really love to see what you guys think of the floor design so far now I've not been getting very many likes lately um, I mean I know I don't really get the biggest amount of views on my videos but um, it is nice sometimes to see me reaching 10 10 likes up there. The last few episodes I've only really been getting one or two so if you've got any comments on anything that you don't like or do like please let me know and let's see if we can reach 10 likes again on this video that would be really really awesome and it really does help out a lot when you leave a like. So thanks guys for watching I will see you next time.